All right, guys, no intro. Why? Because you guys just skip it anyway. I've seen comments saying things like, oh my God, I didn't know SRs weren't guaranteed in a Korean booster box. And these are the same people that comment on my channel saying, I love your videos. So we're just gonna get straight into it. We are obviously in the Scarlet and Violet era of Pokemon and we are used to the yellow borders, but not anymore. Now we also have new types of booster boxes, of course, same shape, but we're back in the Sun and Moon era with the tape, just now with a rip tab. And I wonder how, if they're gonna even keep this for a triplet beat because we saw what happened with the Japanese booster boxes. So let's just get on with it. And yes, the uh, cards are still printed within South Korea. This is gonna be interesting, guys, ripping that open. Oh my God, here we go. Ugh. I'm really hoping to pull that Maridon SR. There's no team left or team right. And also for proof, if you want to look on the back, it does say printed in Korea. So I'm just showing you guys that. I will have my scissors here because if you guys have watched my previous videos, I always struggle with opening these by hand. So there we go. Same pack art as the Japanese version. If you guys have noticed too, new camera here, new camera here. If you like the quality better, comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. And do we have advertisements on these? Let's go see. We're going to not do a card trick as I usually do that for Korean opening. So we have Primate. Guys, this is so weird. They feel, I guess, still like Korean Pokemon cards. It's just more so... They have silver borders now. So if this is your first time seeing Korean Pokemon cards, this is what they usually look like. They've had uh, yellow borders literally the entire time Korean Pokemon cards have existed. This is the first generation we have with silver borders. We have Tarantula, we have, oh my gosh, Rotom. This is so weird. I feel like I'm opening like Japanese cards, but it has the Korean text. If you guys haven't learned the difference between Korean and Japanese at this you're point, fucked. you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> and we have floors. Very lovely artwork. Again, this is going to take a while to get used to. Of course, we still have the international backings just showing you guys, reassuring you. And yes, they feel still like the typical Korean cards, just if you've missed that. Oh my goodness. I've seen other Pokemon YouTubers open this as well. SRs are still not guaranteed, unfortunately. That's here to stay with the Korean Pokemon cards, so be prepared for that. If you're also someone who does breaks, and plan on delving into Korean Pokemon cards because of the value of Japanese cards going up so high, please make it clear to people that SRs aren't guaranteed because I don't want to see you pricing Japanese cards and Korean cards the same. That is not nice. And we have Professor Turo. Yes, guys, we have hollow bordered Korean cards. This is so weird, but this is so nice at the same time. I don't know what to make of this. I need to compare those two with a Japanese card. It looks the same. The shine looks really similar. It's just the quality is not as like, I guess, sleek to the touch. The cards don't stick to each other like in the Sun and Moon era, which is really nice. But I'd say this is a massive step up. What's interesting actually is the retail pricing actually is the same between the Sword and Shield and the Scarlet and Violet era. I was actually expecting the prices to go up, you know, retail pricing. Usually I think it's around like 27 to $30 per booster box. So I don't want to see people charging like $100 for these either. It's not the same as Japanese pricing. The value is definitely not the same. People, please stop scalping each other. <laughs> we have Houndour, Toad's Cool, literally the ground poison variant of uh, Tentacle or Ground Grass. It's one of the two. And then we have Bombardier. Oh, and Slow Bro. This is really nice. Again, by Shinji Kanda. Very nice with the hollow borders. So again, if you guys relied on the yellow borders to distinguish between the Korean and the Japanese cards, gotta hop on that language lesson you know go on duolingo learn a little bit of the alphabet of both languages so you know the differences between the both uh both languages and we have toxel we have shop it oh i love this artwork of mabo stiff <gasps> and our first art rare oh the shine is actually quite nice on this too just as nice as the japanese version just a little bit less i guess like glossy but this is oh my gosh gravard with the gengar plushie by south so i know a lot of people love this artist so very nice Honestly, I'm, it's going to be more fun collecting Korean cards moving forward because, again, just to repeat, this is from the past of the yellow bordered Vulpix. If you're coming into the video now, we're just going to do a quick comparison. Of course, the backs are going to be the same as you can see, but again, first time we're ever seeing Korean cards with silver borders and they feel just about the same. I believe this is a Sword and Shield era card as well. I think this printing is the same, just different borders. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So let me know what you guys think to this too. Are you going to be collecting Korean cards mo moving forward now because of the change? Um, I know some people also maybe are a fan of the yellow borders. Maybe it's nostalgic to them. Maybe it's just, like I said before, you've used it to distinguish between Korean and Japanese and perhaps other cards as well. Ndidi holographic, very nice by Himeno. I believe they just had a signing at an event in the States. So congrats to anyone who's managed to get a signature. We have Primeape, we have Shuppet, 
So I mean, again, I do not know if the if an um, SR will even pop up in this video, but there's a lot of nice SRs. Of course, Miriam's in the set. We have um, Maridon. We have a lot of nice trainers. I would love to pull an SAR. I have still yet to see one in person, and the sparkle looks absolutely beautiful from all the cards I've seen. I don't expect it to be as sparkly as the Japanese version. Oh yeah, Toad School have multiple artworks. That's really interesting. Wait, what is this? Oh my god, okay. Oh, we actually got an SR. This is quite nice. So not SAR, not a special artware, but we got a trainer. This actually looks quite nice. So I do have to say the quality did get quite better. And the texturing actually doesn't look as thick. It's getting closer to the Japanese version. This is very interesting. Hope you guys can actually see this on camera. There's also another reason why I got a better camera. So yes, this is quite nice. I don't have KD in Japanese, but I would, I would really love to compare this with the Japanese version. Not bad. Definitely not bad. Definitely not one of the chases, but I, I don't mind having trainers. It's really cool. It doesn't have to be Miriam. Every trainer deserves to be appreciated. What do you think, Jay, to the looks of it? Um, <laughs> looks like a Korean card to me. Right. I, again, I, I'd I say mean, the texturing is a little yeah. less thick now. It's very interesting. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a regular Korean card. <laughs> regular Korean I mean, card. I can't really uh, <laughs> say it's any different, but uh, yeah. I think it's easier to see when you're under the light because I definitely see a massive difference. I guess of course. my question to you is, uh, how's the new camera? I love the new camera. It's easier to see what I'm doing now. I don't have to yeah, do this all the time. Now. Exactly. My, my face is probably sharper to you guys. <laughs> we have Toxel. We have Greedent. Clef Key. I will say I can definitely adjust to this new, you know, hollow border thing with Korean cards. Also, I noticed too, there are no advertisements. I know some boxes will have advertisements. Don't be alarmed. It doesn't mean your box is fake. It's just that they, do, they don't include advertisements on and everything. And when I mean advertisements, they usually just show like maybe other Pokemon card products. Maybe they feature the game or maybe something with the anime. Ooh, and we have Pachirisu as the last card. Oh my god. Usually in the past, we'd see the yellow borders with an electric type Pokemon card. And I would like that because it would match so well. But not anymore. We have silver borders now. It's going to be something. I mean, another reason why I really wanted to open Scarlet and Violet, I had to make it my priority because I really needed to see the differences. And I know a lot of you guys want to see it as well. So here we go. Chansey, Miriam herself. We can pull her, but it's OK. I don't really care. <laughs> and we have um, Annihilate, super cool third evolution of Primate. And again, for another comparison, because I know people either come in late or they just skip through the video. If you missed it, again, yellow border to silver border comparison, sword and shield. Oh yeah, they're also both, oh actually no, one is Pachiriso, they almost look the same. Minen and Pachiriso, silver versus yellow border guys. Feels the same. Um, I just really suspect, I want to see other secret rares too, and stay tuned, I'm also opening Scarlet. I, I do want to do more texture comparisons because I'm getting convinced that they're slowly improving the quality of Korean cards and slowly making the texturing more fine. How's um, the camera going? It's going really well, in my opinion. Oh, uh, cool. <laughs> I wonder if uh, people in South Korea ever complain that the texturing is too thick. Because if if it if Pokemon Korea have gone this far to make the texturing more fine, it must be a response to a lot of requests from South Korea. Because also Pokemon's become more popular. Oh, look at that! That's really cute. Tarantula AR with uh, Scyther on top. It's supposed to connect with um I believe the Spydops SAR with the artwork. So we got one half of it. If we ever pull that one day. That'd be really cool to see. It is very sparkly in person. So I really like to see that one day. I might try to open this set in other languages if possible. It's not like there's really much difference anymore besides maybe the booster box, you know, shape, pull rates, etc. We still haven't pulled an EX card and I think I see our first one at the back. So let's take a look here. Oh, Spydops, that's funny. So we got little Tarantula which evolves into Spydops. So let's take a look at the texturing. I mean, not the texturing, the sparkle. It definitely doesn't look as sparkly as the Japanese version. So that's definitely a difference already. I do have Spydos, but uh, um, in my binder sitting somewhere, but I'd say probably a little bit more sparkly than the English version. I have seen people compare the English and Japanese counterparts of like Mimikyu EX, for example, but this definitely looks a lot duller than the Japanese version. So hopefully that helps some of you guys if you're curious to know about the Korean card quality versus the Japanese quality. Okay, moving on to the next pack. See, the packs aren't as torturous to open anymore. They've definitely also, I believe, changed that according to how I feel about it. Unless I've just practiced opening packs so much that it's become easier. Toad's Cruel and Mesagoza. Very lovely city. If that is Mesagoza. All, all the cities somehow tend to look the same. It looks very grand though. Okay. 
I spoke too soon. This one is a little hard to open. Let's go ahead and do this. Sometimes if you struggle enough with the cream packs, you get like a little film layer where it's just like the point of no return. Like you open it, but it's just like the plastic covering <laughs> still encasing the cards and you can't even get past it still. Okay. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, I thought I thought that was going to be Maraida. No, we have Magnezone. Still, again, still Sparkle. I'm really happy that Pokemon have implemented the um, Sparkle Hollow again. Like they brought it back from previous generations in a different way as well. But again, Japanese is always going to be superior. You look very it is focused what it is. on the new screen. Yes. No, again, it makes life so much easier because oh, yeah. before I just have to be like... <laughs> I notice you're looking more at that screen than the that camera. Yeah, it just it's just cool to see too. Like, am I am I in focus? Because it's it's a whole new adjustment. You should I'm explain used to... to the viewer what's going on. Yes. So again, we have a, a different type of camera. It's no longer an iPhone. It's its own like it has its own screen. I can actually flip the screen. So I'm just making sure too. You guys can actually see the card, not like here or here. You know, like. That's, that's basically what I'm doing. It's just because you look quite focused. Yes. It's also so the viewer it's an, knows what's it's going an, on. It's an adjustment, guys. So I'm still I'm still here talking to you. Don't worry. I ain't going anywhere. Just having fun, opening some cream cards. How's the focus? It's so nice. Again, like you let it you let it chill for a bit, and then the focus, you know, um, remains on the center of the screen. As long as you have something in front of the lens, it's really nice to see. Actually, ooh, what's this holographic sick lizard? So this is the modern day Coridon versus Maridon. Really cute dude. Can ride on, of course. But for some reason, Maridon and Coridon are a lot stronger, just because they're either from like the far past or the far future, if that even is true. Because this whole theory about paradox Pokemon is still unclear. I'm waiting for the DLC to explain everything. Now we have Katie in her non-full art form. Very, very nice. And we're, are, we are more than halfway done. Again, I think we're still yet to pull more EXs. I'm definitely hoping to pull Coridon EX. I'm starting a collection and I would like to pull it in many different languages. Mapo Stiff, very aggressive Mapo Stiff. <laughs> and um, Houndstone, a very, very creative design for a ghost type dog Pokemon. Or Toxel. And as you can see too, this is just a regular set. You're not guaranteed a hollow in each pack, like, you know, V Star Universe or any other high class pack. And so we have five cards. Again, too, if you're in if you're involving yourself in any box breaks, packs shouldn't be more than like two dollars. It's usually like one to two dollars if you convert the Korean one price into USD. Like don't let people, you know, overcharge you. It's just ridiculous. It's a Korean card. It's not gonna be as good quality as Japanese. Oh, this is actually a bit sparkly. It might be the color because the color's a bit more dark, saturated. You're gonna see a bit more of the sparkle more, so we have Bennett. Very, very nice. Again. Really happy to see at least Korean cards slowly improving their quality every generation. And they're always going to change something too, even with the booster boxes. I don't even know why people would want to tamper with Korean booster boxes in the first place, because the value definitely doesn't match up to Japanese cards. But again, it's an extra form of security. I can't complain. I'd rather have this than what they did in the Sun, moon, the sun and Moon era. They had tape, but not even like a rip tab. So you know what I mean? All right, six more packs, I believe. We pulled three EXs so far. I think we're still due for one more AR, so let's hopefully pull something really nice. All right, Maskif. We think we got another EX. Let's see what it is. Oh, very nice. Okay, we hit a Terra card. This is definitely one that we wanted to hit. And again, that's there. it is textured, very similar to the Japanese version. Just again, not as... Actually, no, it's, it's actually ironic because if it is Korean, it would be more thick. But again, the texturing has definitely got more refined so i'm going to show a little bit more lighting on that so you guys can really see and it's definitely not as sparkly so quite different from the japanese version really its own thing i haven't um opened scarlet and violet in english yet on my own i don't usually open on youtube um i like to compare all the different card stocks just for my knowledge and also to share with you guys as well we have growlith so i think that was ex number four but still looking for another ar and there it is. We have Bombardier, one of the Titan Pokemon too. It just it's such a contrast with Shibuzo's artwork. It looks so happy flying across the field, and you could you know perfectly be walking under it, and then it just drops all these bombs on you. You know, it's not the nicest of birds. So very nice AR though. Shibuzo's a really lovely artist, so really happy to pull that. And you know, as you guys can see now, you get three per booster box, so that doesn't change from the Japanese version, thankfully. And obviously, you get a bunch of hollows. So far, we've gotten uh, four EXs which is quite nice because, you know, Sun and Moon era, you'd usually get like maybe like three pulls, which is not the best. But of course, I believe booster boxes were way cheaper back then. Over time, retail price has gotten up, has increased. Okay, we have three packs. 
But again, very interesting to see. Let me know again what you guys think to the change of Korean cards in the comments below. And also if you're going to start collecting Korean cards because of this. And you know, along with opening cards in different languages, they have different names. It's always fun to learn them and compare them to English and Japanese Pokemon names as well. Squove, Tarantula, uh, Grave, Gravard, Heracross, Palmot, I believe. It looks so similar to Palmo, with just a little bit of extra hair there. That's the Pikachu of the generation. I think Max Mofa wasn't very happy with that. <laughs> happy to see him back in last pack. Let's see what we can get. Plowitzer. Grievard. It's really nice to see these Pokemon have different artworks too. It's not just one. We have Florgs and last but not least we have Fortress. Bug and Steel type. So there you go guys. At least we did get our SR. If you missed majority of the video, please go to the beginning. Of course, no intro this time, but I tried to make this as thorough as possible.